For many years, the standard infantry fighting vehicle of the German army has been the Marder. That has been progressively upgraded for the A1, 2, 3, 4 and the latest A5, which was deployed to Afghanistan. However, the basic design of the Marder is now 40 years old and the German army has now at long last started to field a new vehicle, the Puma infantry fighting vehicle. The German army has ordered 350 of these vehicles, of which eight are driver trainer vehicles. The first production vehicles were handed over last year when I was there, and production is slowly starting to build up. And by the time the show opened, just over 70 had been completed, and they hope to ramp up production to about 70 vehicles a year. If all goes to plan, the whole batch of 350 should be in service by 2020. But with the increased tension in some parts of Europe, there's a strong possibility that additional Pumas will be ordered. What is unique about this vehicle? First of all, it's got a special protection system. It's got um, a standard protection system, and when you deploy overseas, it's got a, a complete armor package, which increases the weight to just over 40 tons, but gives you a much higher level of protection. Also, most infantry fighting vehicles has a turret. This particular one has a remote control turret, so all the crew are in the well-protected hull. That is commander, gunner, driver, and six dismounts, who can rapidly leave by the rear ramp. Also, if you see, it's got a lot of protection against top attack. And if we look along here, you've got explosive reactive armor, and that gives you additional protection against rocket propelled grenades. The turret, as we said, is remote controlled, and that's got a Mauser 30 mm dual feed cannon, which in addition to firing armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding sabot rounds, can also fire an airburst munition. And you look at the, the muzzle of the gun, that's where it's programmed. The current vehicle has a 5.56mm coax machine gun, but that will be replaced by a 7.62mm weapon. You can't see it, because this vehicle is not currently fitted. Uh, it is expected that future vehicles will be fitted with a spike anti-tank guided missiles to engage targets at much longer range. Also, you see on the top there, uh, we have two stabilized sites, one for the commander, one for the gunner. Each of those has got a, a day site, a thermal site, and a laser rangefinder. And what is unique on top of that is called MUS. MUS is a defensive aid stick which includes laser rangefinders and other sensors, and that will detect incoming some types of missiles and decoy them away. So, very advanced vehicle, very expensive, probably about 9 million euro, but it's probably the most advanced vehicle of its type within NATO. And at long last, the German army are very happy to receive this vehicle because it gives them a step change in its capability. But it's not only the vehicle. The dismounted infantry have a soldier system, so that links the dismounts with the vehicle. So this really is the mothership of the infantry.